Okay, I'm going to do a quick review on simplifying radicals and special right triangles. And I have some other video tutorials that are hopefully going over to that YouTube video. I'm sorry, YouTube channel. It has been a hectic night and our computer has not been the most cooperative. So I apologize for getting these things to you so late. You're probably already asleep. Uh, for number one, you've got, I don't know what kind of square root sign that is, but it's 224. And generally speaking, I divide by um, perfect squares. And I know it's an even number, so dividing by 4 would be good. Um, but with it being such a large number, sometimes I try going bigger. So instead of dividing by 4, maybe try dividing by 16. And if you divide 224 by 16, you get, that's a 6, you get 14. So 16 times 14 is 224, and 16 is 4 times 4, which I know you guys can go further down, but you're looking for 2 of a number, so you've got two fours here. I wouldn't go any further than that, so the answer is going to be 4 square root, and 7 times 2 is 14, so that's the answer to the first one. Um, the second one, this is going to take forever to erase. Um, so the second one, I'm just going to do it on the other side. Oh, that's easy. That's going to be 15, 15 times the square root of 64, which 8 times 8 is 64. So the square root of 64 is 8. So 15 times 8 gets me 120. So this is going to be 120 for this one here. For 63, 63 is... 9 times 7, my OCD people are going to be bothered by all these marks, and that's 3 times 3, so the 3 goes on the outside and the 7 stays behind. Okay, I'm going to clear these because I can just clear everything off of here, and then I don't have to use that little eraser button. Okay, so to add radicals, you've got to make sure that the numbers under the radical are the same, and on number 4, they're different. But the square root of 45 can be simplified because that's 9 times 5, and 9 is 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 times 5 are the factors under 45. Um, and the 3 goes on the outside, and the 5 stays on the inside. So now I actually have square root of 5, and actually that's really 1 square root 5 plus 3 square root 5. And when you add this together, you get 4 square root 5. So initially, it doesn't look like something that can be combined together, but it is. That's supposed to be a 4. I don't know what exactly that looks like. Um, this, this one is a trick. You can't combine those because the numbers under the radicals aren't the same. And then number 6 is pretty straightforward. 4 plus 5 is 9, so this is going to be 9 square root 3. Okay, I'm going to clear these out again. Okay, on this next one, I'm just multiplying the numbers on the outside together and numbers under the radicals together. So 2 times 6 is 12, and the square root of 5 times the square root of 3 is going to be square root of 15, and that can't be simplified because the factors are just 3 and 5. On the second one, 5 square root 2 times 3 square root 6, your 5 times 3 is 15, and underneath the radical you have 2 times 6, which is 12, but I'm not going to multiply that out because 6 is 2 times 3. So it's 15, 2 times 2 times 3. 2 goes on the outside and multiplies against the 15, and the 3 stays on the inside. So I actually have 30 square root 3 as my answer. So you always want to make sure you go back. That's a 0. I don't have my stylus. I'm using my finger here. Um, you always want to go back and make sure that whatever your final answer is, that it's completely simplified. On this one, it's 4 square root 7 times 2 square root 100. Well, the square root of 100 is 10, so 10 times 2 is 20 times 4 square root 7. So 4 times 20 is 80, so you have 80 square root 7. So that's those answers. Okay. I'm going to clear this out. And in some classes, we got through the special right triangles. In some classes, we didn't. So on the first ones, you know, I would go through and do all my 45, 45, 90s first, and then do 30, 60, 90. It's really frustrating me to try to write with this pen without my stylus. So 
I'm not going to write everything on here like I would normally, but, you know, I would label each one of these x, x, and x squared 2 um, for each one of those 45, 45, 90. And if you do that, then you can see if this one's 14, then this one has to be 14, and this has to be 14 square root 2. Um, skipping down to the next 45, 45, 90, this is x number 14, x square root 2 equals 15 square root 6. So I'm dividing both sides by the square root of 2, and I get x equals 15, I can't even read my own handwriting, 15 square root 3. Okay, so remember radicals, numbers under radicals divide together, but a whole number, not even a whole number, just any number outside the radical cannot be divisible by a number that's under a radical. So that's going to be 15 square root 3, and that's for both sides. So I'm just going to write it really big. Okay, and then number 17, just kidding, number 16 is the other one, and that's the one where your x square root 2 side equals 8. Some of you rem remember to just divide that by 2 and tack a square root 2 on the end. Some of you will forget when you solve this, and the easiest way to get rid of a radical is to multiply it by itself, because the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So when you multiply a radical times itself, the radical goes away and you're just left with the number underneath. But whatever you do on one side of the equation, you have to do on the other. So two, square root of 2 times 8 is going to get me 8 square root 2. Then I divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals 4 square root 2. So that's going to be your answer for both of these, 4 square root 2. And by the way, this comes right off of the um, form A quiz. So if you feel like this is vaguely familiar, that's why. Okay, so I'm going to clear out of this because it's a mess. And I'm going to do 30, 60, 90 now. So for these especially, I really recommend that you label your x, your 2x, and your x squared 3. Um, so if this is 18, this has got to be 18 times 2. Oh, my gosh, that's supposed to be 36. That does not even look like a 36. Um, <laughs> 36 over here because that's going to be 18 times 2, which gets me 36. And this is going to be 18 square root 3 because it's square root 3 times bigger than x. Okay, this is another 30, 60, 90. Always find your 30 degree angle because x is across from it. This is 2x and this is going to be your x square root 3. And so this time I've got 2x equals 44 square root 6. So I divide both sides by 2 and I get x equals 22 square root 6. All right, uh, so that's this one right here, 22 square root 6. And then I have to multiply that x times the square root of 3. This is x square root 3. Well, if your x is 22 square root 6, then you've got to multiply that times the square root of 3. That gets you square root of 18 here, which is 9 times 2, which ends up being 3 times 3 times 2. Your 3 goes on the outside. I'm going to bring it back over here. So this is 22 times 3, the 3 that's come out, and then you've got this 2 left behind. So you get 66 square root 2. I think that's this one. So this is 66 square root 2. Oh, my goodness, this is so messy. Okay, uh, number 13, this is my x. This is going to be my 2x. This is my x square root 3. So if 11 square root 3 is x, then I've got to do 11 square root 3 times the square root of 3, which, remember, radical times itself, the radical goes away, which is 11 times 3, which is just 33. I know I'm going really fast. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm racing. I just want to get this thing uploaded for y'all. So this is 33, and then the hypotenuse is going to be 2 times your 11 square root 3, so the numbers on the outside multiply together, and you get 22 square root 3 for your hypotenuse. As long as you know how to simplify radicals, it's really not as difficult as you would think. You get used to it. Um, all right, so this is, like, really cluttered. So if you are trying to follow along, you might pause this for a second and go through the work and check your answers. And I am clearing it right now. So there we go. Uh, I did number 13. Number 15, 
this is my 30 degree side, which makes this x. This one's going to be 2x, and this is x squared 3. So like the 45, 45, 90, x squared 3 equals 36. On this one, some of you will remember to divide by 3 and stick a square root 3 on the end. But some of you during the test are going to forget. And when you do that, just get rid of the square root of 3 on this side by multiplying it out. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. So you get 3x equals 36, but you've got to distribute that square root of 3 over to this side too. So it's 36 square root 3. I don't know how you guys can even read this. Where is my stylus? Anyway, then you divide by 3, and you get x equals 12 square root 3. So that is what x is. Okay, we've, we found what x is. That's this one. And this is going to be 2 times it. The hypotenuse is 2 times 12 square root 3, or 24 square root 3. Okay, so now let's see here. We're down to number 17. So... The x is this one, and 2x is just going to be multiplying it times 2. So the whole thing is 3 plus 6 square root 3. So I multiply that, and I get 6 plus 12 square root 3. So that's going to be my 2x. So this is 6 plus 12 square root 3 here. Oh, my goodness, this is so messy. And then um, across from the 60-degree angle, remember, this is your x. That's how I know it's x. This is your x squared 3 down here. So I have to multiply this whole expression, 3 plus 6 squared 3, times the square root of 3, and you have to distribute that out. So you get 3 times the square root of 3 plus 6 square root 9, because the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is square root of 9, which the square root of 9 is 3. So 6 times 3 ends up being 18. So when it's simplified, you get 3 squared root 3 plus 18. And that goes um, right here. That's the answer. Okay, one last question, and this one is, you know, the really yucky one that everybody skipped. I'm going to clear this again. Okay, so here we go. And I have a calculator in front of me this time. So we're going to start with Pythagorean theorem because these two, if you've got two sides and you're looking for a third side, you can use Pythagorean theorem. But when you square a radical, when you square a number that has a number in front of it and a radical, you square both terms. So 6 squared is 36, and the square root of 2 squared is just going to be 2. Square root of, I mean, 5 squared is 25, and the square root of 3 squared is just 3. So I've got 72 plus 75 over here, which ends up being 147, which doesn't seem like it could simplify, but it actually does. If you divide it by 3, it's 3 times 49. That's going to be 7 times 7. Bring your 3 down. 7 goes on the outside, and the 3 stays behind. So that's the hypotenuse, and if I draw this triangle out here, um, the hypotenuse of that first triangle, this one right here, becomes the leg on this triangle, and this is my 30-degree side. So this is my x, and you're looking for the one that's across from the 60-degree angle. This is the one you're looking for right here, which is x squared 3. So you're going to take that 7 squared 3 and multiply it times the square root of 3, which is 7 times 3, which is 21. So this side right here is actually 21. And 7 square root 3 times 2, this is your 2x side. You're taking this number here and multiplying it times 2. That gets me 14 square root 3. Okay, and that becomes the leg to my 45, 45, 90, which I'm not going to write 45, 45. I'm just going to mark them as congruent. And so that means this is 14 square root 3. That means this is 14 square root 3. And since this is my x square root 2 side, that's going to be 14 square root 3 times the square root of 2, which gets me 14 square root 6. That problem, I think, scared everybody, but it really isn't as hard as you would think if you just went step by step. 
So that problem's going to be on your test on Wednesday. For the most part, this part of it isn't going to be until Wednesday. And I hope this helped. I'm looking at all this writing everywhere, and I hope you can decipher it. And maybe you can stop and look. And, and All right, so I'm rambling. All right, thanks so much.